So what do you disclose? This is vital to ensure that you're safe during and after the sale. I highly recommend that you go over your disclosures with your agent prior to the home going on the MLS or prior to buyers seeing the home. We want them to have previously reviewed the disclosures prior to making an offer. This will help ensure that the buyer doesn't back out from things that they should have already been made aware of. And in California, massive amount of disclosures are needed to be filled out and disclosed. This is actually a safety net for not only the buyer, but also the seller. Anything from whether or not you live on a golf course or if you have a sex offender living in the surrounding area that you know about, you would have to disclose it. So when you're selling anything that's ever been repaired, replaced, modified, added, fixed, or changed, it needs to be disclosed. So if you've painted the walls, cleaned the carpets, added new lighting, fixed the water heater, you need to disclose it. One of my common sayings to my clients is, if they have to ask me, should I disclose? My answer is always gonna be yes. To over disclose is much better than under disclose and it'll keep you out of the courtroom. You want the buyer to know anything and everything about the property that you know about the home and the surrounding areas that could possibly have a negative impact on the desirability or the price of the home. When you disclose properly, you don't have to worry about them coming back to you later, telling you that they want to go to court or try to extract more money out of you later on. Obviously, you can only disclose what you know about. If there are issues with the property that you just don't know about, then the buyer would have to prove that you did know about it and that you kept it from them intentionally in order to win in court. So disclose, disclose, disclose.